Like a drunk who took their paycheck to the bar and cashed it, Rust Console Edition is broke again. That's right, after patch 1.42, things went downhill pretty quickly. People are pretty upset, and honestly, the game is in a state right now where it is somewhat unplayable, in my opinion. We're gonna go over those bugs that make the game unplayable, but first, one bug that doesn't make it unplayable, if you upgrade the floors, your bearskin rug might disappear. So if you upgrade something that bearskin rug is on, uh, it's 50-50. It might just disappear and ghost you, just like your last girlfriend. Anyways, getting into the more important stuff, we've got some issues with, first off, the heavies. Their loot is not as good as it used to be, and by it not as good, I mean it's giving you the equivalent of what a homeless bum would give you if you asked him for change. A middle finger and maybe a few nails. But what I'm saying is basically heavies are no longer worth killing, and for a lot of people that means oil rig is no longer worth running. There is some debate whether this was intentional or not. In my opinion, because of some of the changes and the fact that on the oil rig you're getting less ammo than you used to, I think it was unintentional. I think there was a change made to the ammo table and unfortunately it sort of hit a lot of other looting areas. One of the most prevalent and obvious being the oil rig. So next up we have another bug that is actually really game changing for a lot of people. And this would be the Dropbox bug. They added a 13th slot to the Dropbox, but unfortunately the Dropbox no longer works. It basically says that it's always full and you can't use it, no matter what you do. Doesn't matter how many times you log in, log off, doesn't matter if you upgrade a wall or whatever, your Dropbox no longer works. So if you're using a Dropbox, it's sort of like you're just shit out of luck. There is one thing you can do if you built a Dropbox base and then the game upgraded and sort of locked you out of your TC. What you can do is you can upgrade the wall that connects your Dropbox to the other sections of your base. And the hope would be here, you upgrade it to armor or metal or something that is not used anywhere else on your base. Let that decay and then you can sort of just go through that wall. Best bet's probably going to be going over all the way to like armored and then just letting that decay and hopefully nowhere else on your base is armored. If it is, you really are out of luck. There's not much you can do. I'm sorry. I don't have any solutions. In addition to that, stashes no longer work, so if you stash some stuff, there's a pretty good chance you can no longer dig those stashes up. It doesn't mean that someone found your stash, it's probably still there, but it just no longer works. So don't be stashing anything, because you might not get it back. And not because some grub found it, but because D11 decided to keep it to themselves. And finally, two bugs that really are sort of game-changing for almost everybody. If you get into a boat, it is possible that your audio just sort of clips out and has these issues and just your audio goes bad. And the only way to fix it is by restarting the game. So if you're on a next gen console or current gen console, we're talking about that PlayStation 5 or Xbox series, restarting your game is something you can do fairly fast. It's like a 30 second to one minute process. Unfortunately, people who are using boats tend to be running oil rig or doing something rather important where you don't want to have to log off to get sound. So that, that is actually a game-breaking glitch in my opinion. Not being able to hear what's going on, not being able to hear gunshots, not being able to like just get audio is a huge detriment to gameplay. And the only way you can fix that is by logging in and logging off. And if you're running oil, maybe you've got to do that multiple times on the run because it, it's just, in my opinion, that is one bug that sort of does break the game because it makes boats a lot less usable and boats are a key component of the game considering we've got small oil and large oil in the game as two of the red card monuments. On a few servers, those are the only red card monuments. And we've got cargo coming out, which is something you need a boat for. So if your audio keeps cutting out anytime you get into a boat, it literally makes some of the best monuments in the game for clans and for bigger groups unplayable. I, I think that's one thing that needs to be fixed ASAP in addition to the Dropbox's stuff. And in addition to that, if you open your map up, it is possible that there's just a glitch and you've got to restart your game. That again is a really big one. You open your map up at the wrong time in the middle of a fight, all of a sudden you're just shit out of luck and you've got to restart your game and lose all your loot. Like that is something that can seriously stress a person out, cause a lot of frustration, cause a lot of lost time. And you're not losing that time because of something you did or losing that time to learn a lesson. Like sometimes when I get into a PvP fight and lose, I look back and I think about how I could get better. Like could I have placed a wall? Could I have done this? Should I have used bandages instead of meds? Like what did I do wrong that made me lose that fight? If you lose a fight because the game crashes, there's nothing you can do. Like what? You shouldn't have opened your map at the wrong time. No, you can't say that. And that is another annoying thing because if you're like me, 
you open your map all the time in the game. So having to run into bugs like that just makes the game unplayable, in my opinion. Even though I've got an Xbox Series S and it probably takes me about 30 seconds to a minute to restart the game, that's unplayable. I don't, I don't want to lose stuff because the game crashes. So I think for now, I'm going to be, I'm going to be ending this wipe. Um, I never really got too deep into it, so that's one of the reasons I can say that. But honestly, the fact that a hot patch was not released rather quickly, the fact that a rollback wasn't done within a day or two is rather disappointing to me. Because a lot of people, they lose bases due to those Dropbox issues. A lot of people, they're having games crash, and they're just unable to play right now. And that's a really sorry state to be in in the middle of a wipe. If this happened at the beginning of a wipe, there's a little bit more give and take there, in my opinion, because the bugs will come out. People know. They'll notify people. I'd make a video on the Dropbox stuff, things like that. And you'd know that there were issues. So you might not invest as much time into it. Coming out in the middle of a wipe, some people have already put a lot of time into this wipe, and they don't want to give it up, but they're going to be forced to give it up because of these bugs. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I was just disappointed not to see a hot patch. One thing that is worth saying is this is the first time in a while that we've had something this game-breaking introduced into the game. Like, the first time in a couple patches. It, it's in, in the video game landscape, in the world of Rust, it's been a while. It used to be like this would happen every update. It hasn't happened for that long. It's been a while, so hats off to them for not breaking things as frequently as they used to. But at the same time, what what's going on with staging, Branch? This is why it's supposed to exist. How did this not get caught? Like, I'd be... I'd be very curious to know if there's some sort of differences going on between the servers or something like that. Like, are staging branch servers running a different, I don't, I don't know, like, set of software? Are they on a different operating system? Are they on, like, do they have more RAM, less RAM? Like, why is there this difference where these bugs aren't being caught in staging, but then the second you get to main, they're breaking? And if the issue honestly is not enough people are playing staging, open it up to everybody. That's the only solution. That's the only way to go, in my opinion. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to pump this video up to eight minutes to get a little bit of extra cash. So if you like the video, hit subscribe. And until next time, peace.